Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Julianne and today's video is a messy house clean with me. We have a lot of work that we need to get done. So first we are going to be starting out in the kitchen, which the kitchen isn't terrible, but we have a lot of work that we need to get done in the living room and in the master bedroom. Let me know in the comments what you guys are up to today and let's go ahead and get started. We got the kitchen picked up and now I'm going to start on the dishes. First I'm going to put away the clean dishes and then as you guys can see I have a lot of dirty dishes that I need to get done. Let me know in the comments how your guys' summer has been going so far. I know that a lot of kids have just recently got out of school. My kids have been out of traditional school for about, I think, two weeks. Um, but they are doing a little summer camp so they get to go for a couple hours a day, a couple um, days a week. But our first week of summer, y'all, our AC has decided to give us some issues that we are trying to get fixed. And, y'all, it has been a little bit of a mess. It is probably the worst time to have air conditioning problems in Arizona midsummer. So we're just trying to get that done for right now. I did get the dishwasher full, so I do have a few things that I'm going to be washing by hand. Now that I have the dishes finished, I am going to be cleaning the sink, which was pretty dirty. So I am going to wash it with the Dawn Power Wash first, and then I'm going to be using the soft scrub with bleach to give it a really good clean. I'm not going to play nice. I'll be the witch you tell your friends about. I'm the crazy ex-girl you pretend you don't know, because you know I could ruin your life. Rumor has it you have someone new. I'm going to let the soft scrub with bleach sit for a few minutes in the sink while I wipe off the faucet.
So this side of my countertop is really dirty. I am just using some all-purpose cleaner. If you guys have been here for a while, you know that I just use like a Mrs. Meyers concentrate and I mix it with water and I'm just using a microfiber cloth towel and it does a really good job. Outside my window Is everything pale and cold Can't seem to pick up my phone It's been ringing all day long Behind these clothes I know the sun will be But today's raining So be patient with me I'll be kitchen is clean and of course I'm going to be lighting a candle. Now we're going to move on to the dining area which isn't bad at all but my living room y'all I have a lot of toys. It has been hard to find the motivation to keep up with picking up the toys definitely since the kids are at home more often and I am you know 30 weeks pregnant now so I have found myself just being really tired but I do get like these bursts of energy to get some like good cleaning done and then it is gone and it takes a few days I feel like to get that energy back so I have been trying to take it easy lately. Inside my room, mm -hmm. the heat's like a warm All right so now we're heading into the living room which could be worse and has definitely been worse. This is honestly mostly Mila's doing. Mila is too. She does go around and help pick up some toys, but I still always have a lot of work to do, you know, cleaning up after her. And Elvis typically does take the kids out of the house when I am filming, just because we've had the camera knocked over a few times. It's expensive to get it fixed and the kids are always needing something whenever I'm trying to film so it's just easier to have them go out and do something or have them watching a movie in a different room keeping themselves entertained so I do like to just pick up on camera myself um, but the kids do help me clean especially the older ones I've been asked why we don't see Victoria's room a lot and that's because Victoria does keep up on her room and even Owen has been doing a great job keeping up on his room. So I have to say that this is one of my favorite parts when I am finally finished cleaning is getting the vacuuming and mopping done. Once I pull out the vacuum, I know that I am so close to being done and honestly it just gives me that motivation to get the mopping done and the house is nice and clean. Well at least the living area and kitchen are. You guys will see that my bedroom not so much. Gonna let the 
past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back So before I mop, I am going to get our shoe area picked up, which it's just typically a disaster over here. There's always shoes everywhere, and I am just as guilty as the children not putting my shoes away. Honestly, sometimes I think I'm a little bit worse than them. Right now, I'm getting ready to go pick up my living room, and I can see that I have about three pairs of shoes just sitting in the living room for some reason. But it's not that easy You're complicating things for me No, it's not that easy Maybe just a little time can heal me But it doesn't feel the way What are you doing to me? Why'd you break my heart? So it is the next day and we're going to be moving into the bedroom which is just a complete disaster in here. I had been working on my laundry the night before so I am embarrassed to say but I have it sitting on the floor in piles. I have like Owen stuff, Camila stuff, Victoria's was already folded so I do need to get that done and first I'm going to be starting on making the bed. I thought that we were meant to be.
to this place to hide away in the dark You tell yourself you need to move on But when not in the shadows can ease your broken heart All right, so I have Owen and Tori stuff folded and I'm just going to put their things in the basket to get to their room and I have a few things of Owen's that I'm going to be hanging, but I typically do that when I get to their bedroom. Now I'm going to be working on Camila's stuff and um, I do need to get her things moved to Victoria's room. I haven't got that done yet, but I am going to try to get that done in the next week or two. Camila is obsessed with playing with the baby stuff and getting everything out. I do just have it sitting over here in the corner. If you guys have been here for, you know, the last few videos, you have seen that I have everything piled up over here. But when I get Camila stuff put in Victoria's room, well, technically it's her and Victoria's room, then I um, will be getting the baby stuff all organized. And I have had like a few questions of um where the baby is going to be staying and obviously a baby doesn't need a room we're gonna put the crib in here the bassinet um but that's what we're gonna be doing um i did talk about you know a few months ago how we were looking for a bigger house and it's just not for us right now the market when we were looking um the market was really crazy interest rates have went up so we decided that it's okay. Um, you know, when Victoria was a baby, we lived in a one bedroom apartment and Camila, you know, she did not have a nursery. The only child that's ever had a nursery is Owen. And honestly, he didn't even use his room that much until he was about to. So it's gonna be completely fine. And the baby will just be in here with us, which even if we did have a nursery, the baby would still be in here with us. So it's okay. Right, that is it for today i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a like and if you haven't already go ahead hit that subscribe button for more cleaning motivation thank you guys so much for being here today and i will see you in the next one bye